Angela. How are you, Angela? I'm doing good. Hang on. Let me see, maybe. Try one more time. Hi, right, Angela, can you hear me? I can't hear you too well. Hang on. No, no, maybe it's, there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I was thinking, hey, maybe something's wrong with my with my microphone or something. But yeah, yeah, it's just because you were a little bit farther from your mic. Yeah, I, I always have this problem. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ange, what do you um? You ever thought about being a pilot? Well, I have thought being everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. been a pilot uh, once with my family we visited the united states mm -hmm. and then it passed my mind to be a pilot but i don't know maybe not like a like a profession for me but maybe like learn okay they win a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. They they earn. They earn a lot they of earn. money. Mm -hmm. They earn a lot of money. Yeah, they do actually. Actually, uh, pilots earn a lot of money. It's it's a lot of work, but they earn a lot of money. I only mentioned because you, yesterday we were talking about the scholarships, and today one of my students, um, because I teach aviation English, I teach English to uh, pilots, um, so that they can get their license um, in the U.S. Uh, for the um, FAA. So. Uh, we were looking because I'm helping her. She's getting. Uh, we're looking at scholarships for for women, because there's okay. there's specific scholarships for women that are going to be pilots. And I thought, hey, I remember Angela says she would like to discover. So you know, just thinking about it. And from the top of there. Uh, yes. Well, they're actually they're different types of scholarships. They're from other countries, but they offer uh, scholarships here in El Salvador. They offer scholarships for wherever country you are in. They help you pay for your first license or your recreational license or, you know, there are different types. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of interested, so if you want to hear me with uh, something, uh, mm. it will be a Okay. All right. Just curious. Ah, let's see who else is here. We got uh, Elias and Sandra and Jose, Gladys and Stephanie. Hi, Coach. How are you? How are you guys? How are you guys doing? I'm doing fine. Hello. I went to drop off my resume. All right, there you go. Start, <laughs> yeah. It's, start it's teaching. Happened. Start teaching soon. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah, of course it is. It's a new adventure, give you a new opportunity. Why not? Yeah. Why not? You don't lose anything, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All you do is lose the fear. Yeah. We'll see. I hope they call me. Good luck, Jose. Let us know how it goes. All right. Thank you. Well, I, I also I also like to thank uh, some of the guys that helped me. Uh, I'm already on lesson number four. Oh, wow. All right. That, so, so you, you just need a little bit of assistance on one of the activities then, huh? Yeah, in, in a few. Actually, a few. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I catch up. That's excellent. We are, we That's are in lesson number four, right? We, we are finishing lesson number three, and we're going to begin tomorrow lesson number four. We're going to wrap up today lesson three and start four. Okay, great. great. Mm -hmm. The important is that, Jose, when you get a chance, check your grades and make sure that all of the activities are checked in green. So when you get a chance, go in and make sure because sometimes uh, you do an activity or you skip an activity, but it doesn't, it doesn't allow you at the end to get your diploma. Um, we've had that issue specifically with videos. So for example, mm -hmm. if we watch a video in class and you don't watch it on your platform, it doesn't check like you did the exercise. I have watched all the videos. Ah, okay, then then you won't have any problems then, all right? Yeah, I, but, I, I make sure I, I watch every video. Okay. Because the check mark, uh, you know, it already give me a, like a sign, you know, that I have to watch it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's great. All right. Well, um, 
I guess we're going to go ahead and continue our activity from yesterday. We were looking at modifiers. If we remember, we're talking about modifiers, which are really just adjectives. And we're talking about descriptions and words that we use uh, when we're talking about or describing something. Do you remember, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, perfect. So what we're going to do is, in this case, we're going to form little groups and we're going to just describe um, people. We're going to try with describing people or places or things. We want to take a look at it. So as an example, I have never, I have never been to Marcellus's house. I've never been to her job. I've never been to Marcellus school. I've never done any of this, right, Marcella? Okay, so I don't know. I only know Marcella from Zoom. Only this is all I know. But I would like to know about Marcella, uh, where she lives, where she works, uh, where she studied. But so not only is Marcella going to describe these things using adjectives, she's going to use the modifier. She's going to tell me about it. How was her school when she was in high school? How was her job? You know, her house. Maybe she's changed houses. This is the, an easier way for us to naturally use the modifiers. I don't want you to worry about, oh, I have to use two or three or four. I only want you to worry about being descriptive. Only, you know, explain well. That's it. If you need two or three words to explain it, then you need two or three words. If you need three or four, then you need three or four. Okay? But this is the idea. Explain it. That's all we want to do. We want to focus on explaining these different areas. So I've never been to Angela's house, okay? Although I see the wall is white, I'm sure all of the house is not white or her school was not all white or, you know, wherever it is. So she's going to explain to me, oh, okay, you know, uh, it's this, it's that. And that's all we want to do. We want to work on describing different things, okay? Whatever you feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable describing your house, great. If you feel comfortable describing, um, you know, your place of work, if you have a job, great. If you feel comfortable describing, you know, somewhere else that you've gone to, that's fine. All that's important is that you're able to create a picture in my mind. So when I close my eyes and I listen to you, I can imagine the place that you are describing. I can imagine the house, the room, the beach, the park, the city, the town, whatever it is that you're describing, I want to be able to imagine it. Does that make sense? That's how we're going to use modifiers. Yes. So we're, we're not going to think about modifiers as, oh, I need to use four. I need to use three. I have to remember the color. No. All I want you to think about is this. I have never been there. I have never seen what you're describing. If I close my eyes with your words, can I imagine it? Can I see it? Can I get a sense of what you're talking about? If the answer is no, you need to describe more. If the answer is yes, you're doing a good job describing. All right? All right, let's do it. That's what I like about it. That's why I like you guys that never have questions and then you get into the groups and like, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? and that's what I like. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> All right. So for this one, I think it's going to be better in groups of three uh, to start off with because then that gives opportunities for people to listen and compare. And if you have a question or something, maybe you have a question or your other partner and then it makes it easier. All right. So let's start off. Okay. Remember, there's no limit in the words. It's only create a picture in the person's brain, create a picture in their mind. Eric, Luis, Daniel, any any problems? You okay? My day, 
it was like um, a little bit busy because I've been working in my thesis. Oh, and that's nice. With my, yes, but it's a little bit difficult, but I'm working on it. What is your, your thesis about? Um, it's like uh, the topic is like physiotherapy in pelvic floor. Pelvic floor uh, is a part of, of our of our body, masculine and feminine. Uh, that contain, yeah, that, that contains uh, the inner uh, organs, like uh, inner intimate organs. I don't know if it's okay, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah intimate. Mm -hmm. yes. Intimate is good. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my thesis about. Oh, that's nice. So I know where to go when I'm. How about the one place? Uh, it could be your house, your job. Okay. Um, maybe I can talk about my university. Um, I am well. Now I have like online classes, but um, I study on UCA. <laughs> Um, mm. and, yeah, I, I studied there too. What? Yes, I studied there too. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Well, I, I like, um, I like the campus a lot. Um, it's, it's big, has a lot of space, um, and it's really green. I, I can say green because, uh, there, they, um, in the campus. Okay, cool. Here, but it's close I, to the lake or the lagoon. Uh, is, is there is a lake in Metapan, Laguna de Ouija? Yeah, no. Yeah. So now we are about let me see, about thirty, no, twenty, twenty, twenty something minutes from the oh, laguna. Beautiful. Yeah. It's you nice. Go to it? I I used to go fishing there, man. When uh, I was when I was a little kid. And now. Yeah. Uh, not no more. Too hmm. many mosquitoes, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, they, they they get you, man. They are walking with you since since you step in the lagoon. You will be checked. I don't know. Maybe my favorite place can be. I don't know. I, I don't have a favorite place. Let me talk about my dog. Well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <God bless. laughs> it can be easier. Well, he passed away, so I would talk lightfully and kind for him. <laughs> but um he he was a labrador. He he the color of his eye of his eyes were blue. Were um, he born in El Salvador. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, it's kind of difficult to, for me, it's kind of difficult to describe something. But maybe, like I, I said that he was a Labrador, but when my mom bought him in the place, in a place where they sell dogs, they said that was like uh, a shield dog. I mean, like the, he he didn't bark a lot. So that was the first reason <laughs> why she bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it, it that brings like a lot of consequences because it's not norm normal to a dog that to the dog. Wait a minute. Okay, I think Angela okay. had a situation. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. She, she looked behind her and I imagine she had some noise or something. So, go yeah. ahead. Sandra or Gladys, you can go ahead. I already described myself, but they both had any problems. But Gladys with her audio and Angela with something in their their room. I don't know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? 
Yes, now yes. yes. I can. <laughs> we can hear you. I don't know. So, <laughs> if I <laughs> uh, if Gladys can have the opportunity. Okay, Gladys, your turn. They are. So they how are about the? Uh -huh. And they sorry, are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They are no. grown up or they are little pets. No, no, they are grown already. Mm -hmm. The 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 youngest has like, I guess, two years, two years old. It's not that old. It's not that old, but being a dog is kind of all right. It is like having twenty something years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the other one, they are two. The, the name of the first one is Poncho and the name of the second one is Pancho. Poncho is brown and Pancho is like uh, black and brown. It is like mixed, mm. like with stripes. And they, are, they both are boxers and they are a little bit shabby. So I have to take them out to walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they're not... Uh, they're not like violent mm -hmm. dogs. They they are kind of kind. Mm -hmm. Do you have kids? No, I don't. I don't have yet. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to adopt because I'm not able to raise kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You will be you will be doing a, a, a great <laughs> job with that because somebody needs it, and sometimes uh, people don't think on help another children just because don't do it legally not have own <laughs> legally no don't is, don't do it legally illegally or legally no don't do it legally it takes a long time if you do it the legal way yeah i know but the, the matter is i'm a lawyer <laughs> yeah no no but you can and do since, it yeah, yeah you, i know i got it i got it the problem is uh if you do it illegally you have the your under the risk of losing them. No, no, no. Not under the risk of losing them. It's just the legal way is longer than the illegal way to get them legally. Because the legal oh. way, you have to do step one. You have to apply. Step two, you need psychological evaluation. Step three, you yeah, need... Yeah, I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so what you do is don't apply to adopt. Apply, mm -hmm. apply first. The first step is apply to offer your house as an adopt uh, 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 as a shelter because then they go faster then they go and inspect the house and do the psycho evaluations faster than if you apply to adopt because you're not adopting so then you have the authorization that your house is already correct then you then you go back to step one and apply and you already have the other step complete so it's much faster and you go you save yourself about a year a year in paperwork Oh, that's nice. And how do you know that, teacher? Have you ever worked? I have a lot of students. I have a lot of students, and I have some students that are lawyers, judges, uh, people that work at, at Senat, the people that work in INSA, Instituto Nacional Salvadoreño de la Niñez. So I, I have a lot of students. And, and no, that's nice. Because my wife they and I. They give you those little tips. My wife and I wanted to adopt, and we were going to adopt, mm -hmm. and they told us, don't adopt don't adopt in the don't go with the correct documents because it takes a long time to do this way first uh -huh. get, what you do is get authorization that your house is safe that your house has the adequate space has the everything because when you do this at the same time you do this then they give you the psychological evaluation it's not oh. the, it's because they have to authorize that you can have children there or you know and you say yes my house is for one or two they tell you and then then you say but i don't want to adopt in this moment but then once you have these documents ready because they need they need people to take children because there are too many in the shelters so they need more yeah. people they need more people to take shelters so they they do this work quickly but then the uh -huh. idea for the psychological evaluation for adoption, and then and then the longer. children that have been given to you, you, you can, can adopt them. To, exactly, to adopt and you are already authorized. Mm -hmm. You are already yeah, authorized because you have, you're and you have a bond with him as well, right? That's right. Since you have been taking care of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Uh, nice trick. 
teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there, <laughs> there's a lot of different okay. tricks I learned from, from the lawyers, but for, for adoption, this is the number one. And you save, you save yourself a lot of time if you do it legally, but not in the legal order. You skip the okay. first one. Okay, I got it. Now, mm -hmm. now I got it. Uh -huh. Now I got it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I thought that you were recommending me to, to do it in a, in a, in a, in a legal way. <laughs> Techni technically, yes, but... You... No, it's not illegal. <laughs> it, 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 it is, this is taking, taking advantage of the system. It's yeah. pretty much different. Yeah. yeah. Change the order. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just change the order. Just change the that's order. That's nice, teacher. Yeah. Thanks for, for the piece of advice. Yeah. If, if you really are interested, that's it. Yeah. I, I do. I am. I am. Yes. Actually, that's why we are right now are like uh, building from the ground our new house to start with the process of adoption after that, probably at the, like in the middle of the end of the, this coming year. That's excellent. You can begin already, because if you already have the plans and everything, you can already begin uh, paperwork for the house to be inspected. Yeah, nice. And you see what I mean? And then the house is authorized. Yes, the house is authorized, the house is validated. And then you go back. Okay, if I already have the authorization, I'm interested in adopting. Yeah, and you already have a kid there. Exactly. Yes. And you have make a bond you, with him. You already have a placement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you have someone else that you know, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nice teacher. Thanks for the advice. Sure thing. When I when I went there, I don't know, but the students always uh, said you did. Uh, you didn't study here. What are you doing here? Yo, oh, uh -huh. oh my God, what happened with you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I have been on, on the on the capital campus and it's really big. I, I went there because I, I wanted to study there when I graduate from 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 the school and, and yeah, from high school and it, I, I didn't even finish to to knowing the campus because it was so big it's a big yes i studied yeah. in in santa ana but huh? i graduated in san salvador mm. mm -hmm. in the u.s el salvador in san salvador yeah okay it's, it's beautiful. You, you, I, I i had the opportunity of studying at the at san salvador campus I studied English there. I learned English there at the oh, okay. teenagers program. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, what happened, Jose? What happened? Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. <laughs> I, I, what happened, Jose? How are you? How, uh, I'm fine, teacher. I couldn't. I couldn't get into on time because I. I just. I just came from. The charge because I I that's why I had a delay. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. The good thing I thought maybe you had problems getting into the groups. Okay, no, don't worry. Uh, I think they are discussing about the about the about the article. I think. No, 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 not yet, not no. yet the article. No, oh, they were, okay. we were we were just reviewing uh, the modifiers from yesterday and the correct order on how to do the modifiers. Uh, okay. Angela, I just, do you have a question? Yeah, Sorry, I got a question. Just for just remember me if uh, the the order that I have to use any modifier it is. First of all, I need to use the, an opinion uh, modifier, and then I have to use whatever of them, or the rest of the or but, not. No, I, I, yes, you can use yes, but but they have a specific order. So yes, the first one you use is your opinion. And right. whatever it is, then is then it goes with the the size, the the age and the shape. Okay. okay. So it's okay. usually like a, a big, you know, square or a big uh, circular, you know, uh, black. Uh, I don't know leather shoes or or, or, or something like this. And yeah. what we what we mentioned yesterday is that the in reality, it's very common to use uh, uh, at least two of them. It's normally mm -hmm. very common to, leave, to use yeah, at least two or three, but it's just mm -hmm. a matter of almost always you give your opinion. You say, oh, mm -hmm. it's nice, pretty, and then usually a color mm -hmm. or the size or something like this, the material. 
All right, I got it, teacher. Yeah, I got it's, it. Uh, I can, we, it's in the chat uh, of the WhatsApp, but I can resend it uh, if you want to be sure. It's, uh, there it is. Oh, okay. thank you, thank you. There you go. That way you have it just in case. Yeah, yeah, because it's it, it's better to have to have it here in order mm -hmm. to check carefully what how can I use it all of all of these modifiers. Yep, yeah, 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 no problem. Okay, anybody else have any questions or anything they're not sure about? I I will, I have a question, but is I don't know if if I may need to wait because it's about the final exam. Oh, okay. Well, ask and maybe if I can answer it right now, I'll answer right now. If not, I'll tell you, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it later. But what's the question, Maria, about the final exam? Mm -hmm. Let me let me look for it. Is, is, is those uh, non-defined uh, clauses because it's, it's talking about that uh, this is the combined sentences, the letter B. Okay. Is, Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria is cheap to travel in by bus. So the, the instruction says combine the sentences using defining and non-defining relative clauses. And I have texted this a thousand times and, and none of them is correct. I have problem with the number one is Bulgaria, Bulgaria and the number four, Istanbul. All right, Maria. Yes. Tell me in, in the case of number one, uh, so let's just do one so that we can, I can help you out. And then if there's an issue, you will we'll talk about it. In number yeah. one, um, what did you put? Uh, what was your, I, your, your answer? I put Bulgaria is a small country where it's cheap to travel in by bus. Okay. All right. I think I, I got your answer. Okay. Uh, I, I used where. You used because where? Where, because Bulgaria is a small country, where is cheap to travel in by bus. And then, then they say no. Yeah, don't use where. I, 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 I think the where is the issue. Um, because is the, we're not talking about the location, we're talking about the thing. So instead of using where, use that, Maria, that. I, I did, and I also did with which, and none of them is correct. I use that. But 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 then I I I thought that has not a, doesn't make any sense because Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel in by bus and then I say I I wrote Bulgaria is a small country which is cheap to travel in by bus. Mm. Don't let me try it again, Maria. With, try it again with that. Make sure that you have a. Period. A period and and make sure you do not use a comma because in this situation there are no commas exactly i didn't use so i could say bulgaria is a small country yeah. that is cheap correct let me see that is cheap to traveling by bus Let's with a period it has a period yes I used. Uh, nope. No, see. <laughs> nor, or, nor <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> <laughs> see, but I, I thought that I had less uh, points, but because maybe Istanbul is still is bad. Okay, all right. Well, the important is that we, we got the idea. Uh, um, now you have the idea to just just double check it and uh huh, and see how it works out for you. Um, remember that in the case of the Istanbul, in the mm -hmm. case of Istanbul, you are going to use commas. Just, just as I wrote, as Istanbul, comma, mm -hmm. home of the Grand Bazaar, comma, has great shopping. Period. Did I? That is incorrect. That's why. That's not correct. What? Which one? The, the, your answer, what you said is not correct. Oh. How, how come? Because when you have a comma, you need to put in. Uh, Istanbul, comma, and then you need to put in. Which, that, where, you need to put in one of these words and you didn't put anything. You only say, uh, is famous for the Grand Bazaar. 
Uh -huh. okay, let me see. So you need Bamboo, to try... Comma, home of the Grand Bazaar. No, that's... So I need what... to put something before home. Correct, correct, because that's what makes the relative clause. That word that, that word that goes before is what makes the relative clause. And so I could use which is home of the Grand Bazaar. Yeah, try it. Hey, it's already bad, so could not be worse. Exactly, it can't be worse. Which is home of the Grand Bazaar. Remember, which is the home, not which is home. Because in the sentence it says, Istanbul is the home, which is the home. Ah, okay. See, and I didn't put that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Thank you, teacher. Uh, there you go. There you, <laughs> you go. You did it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> it's only sometimes it's just the little commas or something like that that is the, the, uh, really the, the big issue. Any other questions anybody else has? Uh, maybe for the platform or an exercise, something that's, you know, um, that we haven't talked about or we haven't mentioned? Um, I have another one. Go for it, Maria. Let me, you help the other people. If, as long as everybody remembers, when you go to that part, you remember, hey, what did Maria say? Now you have to remember. Okay, in the, in the part C, complete sentences. Mm -hmm. they, they give us, they say, uh, read the sentences, then complete the sentences with the following words. And they give the, the six, six expressions for using. Cost of living, green spaces, nightlife, climate, shopping, and transportation system. Mm -hmm. So in the, the first five is okay. I used first shopping. My city has great shopping. You can buy anything you want. The nightlife is fun. There are a lot of clubs and shows. Number three is all year round, there is a comfortable climate. Uh, four, if you have a dog, you need to live in a city that has a lot of uh, green spaces. Uh, it's too expensive for me to live in a place that has a high cost of living. But the last one, the six, says it's easier to get around in a city that has an efficient transportation system is the only option available and makes sense. But it says it's not correct. Mm. Mm. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Because there, there are Where, six you, questions and six words that you, the uh, combination of words that you must use. And I made the, the first uh, number, the five, and, and was okay. But the only one I have that I haven't used is transportation system. Okay, don't and use I transportation. With, only use system. Don't use transportation. Try just system. <laughs> it's correct. How, okay. how is that? There you <laughs> go. But, but they give you in the options transportation system, the two words. And yeah. now it happens that uh, you know, you say the platform. You the way that the way that I think about it is you have to think about it like a person that makes mistakes. If you made a mistake, what would be the mistake? Well, a common mistake would be you didn't type in all the word. A common mistake uh, is you forgot to put a space. A common mistake is the period. Or so this is the the don't don't worry about it. It's not it's not your fault. <laughs> it's not at all. You are correct. The correct should be transportation system. But now everybody knows that don't use transportation. Only use system. Only system. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much. There you go. I will, I will get my diploma. <laughs> there you go. That's the idea. That's the idea. All right. Thanks. So the, now we're going to go on to the next part, which is a reading. Um, Curious, I'm sorry. Oh, when, yeah. No, no, no go ahead. the final exam? Uh, on Thursday. Next well, week. Okay. Well, technically, technically. In two uh, days or next week? Uh, technically, is Wednesday. But you have, uh, you should be finished by Wednesday next week. Okay. Next week, Wednesday. Um, but you can still do it on Thursday if you need to. 
Mm -hmm. The reason I mentioned Wednesday is, for example, like Maria right now. Imagine that Maria didn't do the exam on Thursday in class. She said, oh, I'm going to do it after class. This mistake, she's not going to correct on the final exam because she wouldn't have had the opportunity to ask me. Mm -hmm. Eric, you're on, you're on mute. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was talking to myself at the beginning, but the thing is, so we're going to recheck or double check the, exam, the final exam with you at the last class on this coming week? Right. What, well, technically, just like with Maria, um, because on the exams, I can't give you the answer. I can only help you with your answers. So yeah, when, I got it. So, yeah. But yes, that's the idea on Thursday. So if there is something like in the case right now that Maria had that she can't, she's been doing it and she can't get it right and she tried it. Mm -hmm. I can verify or I can double check and say, you know what, it's correct, but the system is wrong or this is what you need to check because you yeah, did I it correctly. It. Mm -hmm. But that's the mm -hmm. idea. So the idea is okay. next week, next week, this day, next week, Wednesday, we should be, you know, uh, we should be finished unit four. And then Thursday is just for us to talk, to uh, double check information, verify the platform or exercises or so there's always something there's always something that somebody you know something hey, for example 1.8 suddenly the yeah. person says so hey. issues yeah mm -hmm. okay that's great so classes are going to be over this coming week right next week next week okay mm -hmm. nice thanks yep and then we have a, a pizza party we we have some you know uh some sundays for mcdonald's i don't know we, we'll do something something i you know and Angela can cook. She said Angela was telling me before she's she's the, she's an excellent cook. We just go to Angela's house. We have a party there or something. Maria says she loves to take care of her grandchildren. She has a lot of games for us to play. She knows many things for her to keep us entertained. Don't worry about it. Okay, sounds good for me. All right. <laughs> Don't forget the McFlurry. Hey, that's exactly. Yeah, Marcela, Marcela has to has to bring the coffee as well. She's ah, okay. And she's got the coffee. coffee. And she's got the coffee. <laughs> the, there you go. She's the you coffee sure girl. coffee is what you want, man? <laughs> coffee and McFlurries. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I don't think coffee and McFlurries. But Irish, for you. Irish way, please. Uh huh. All is right. There, it must be Irish, Irish way, my Irish, my Irish coffee. Yeah. coffee huh? That's it. Then this cafe, uh huh. No whiskey, oh, ah. no, no, no. Uh -huh. Irish way. Uh -huh. I don't know. That's the best way to drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried the Baileys? It's delicious. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Just not cafe. Just not cafe. That would, that's all you get. <laughs> all day. The budget. Okay. Budget. All right. Well, the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to do a reading. I sent it to the WhatsApp. And I'm going to share my screen um, for us to be able to finish unit three. I think, to be honest, it's a little difficult to see. You tell me, because I think, to be honest, is, is this picture in the platform is a little, a little light, the color. So it's a little hard to read. Can you, but can anybody read that? Is that okay or no? I do. I can't read it and I'm a little bit blind. So I'm able to see it also. I'm also able to see it. Okay. Okay, because I need, a, I need a few volunteers. We have the first paragraph. Paragraph number one is the title up to the word um, live. Here, the word live. Who can read the first paragraph? I can. can be me? Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, uh, or you first? <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, so, so, all right, hang on, hang on. Okay, so, um, um, so, sorry, so Stephanie, you have the first paragraph. Eric, why don't you take the second one from according to okay. two? To okay. two. All right, I need a third volunteer, someone to take from talk to, oh, wow, this one's big, talk to market. Who's got talk to market? Hey. Okay, Oscar, you got to talk to market. And then the last paragraph is looks like the longest, from people to the end. Who can read from people to New York? New York. Mm -hmm. I can't be here. I, All right, Elias. I guess, I guess I can do it too. I okay. mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what do we have, Elias? You read from people to uh, Savvy, and, and then uh, the other, you read from you to New York. So, okay, so Jose, okay, Jose. Mami, Jose? Yeah, I, 
Yeah, from Seoul. Yeah, you to New York. Correct. Okay, got it. All right, all right. Let's read it together. Okay, uh, should I begin? Yes, please, Stephanie. Okay, a tale of two cities. Welcome to the oldest rivalry in Australia. Sydney has its opera house and harbour. Melbourne has quiet old buildings and parks. Sydney has spectacular beaches, but Melbourne's are less crowded. Talk to Melbournians and they'll say their city is best. Talk to Sydney siders and they'll say Sydney is the number one place to live. According to many Melbournians, inhabitants live a life of ideas, discussion, and debates. People are active in the art, in the arts, sorry, and live well. Then again, that's what just Sydney Sydney siders said about their city too. Talk to Melbournians, and they will tell you their city has friendlier and more outgoing people than Sydney. Most Sydney siders won't disagree about their city be, being less friendly. Nevertheless, they will be quick to tell you that it's a dynamic, world-class city with ton of things to do and see. Sydney siders says they are always busy enjoying all their city offers, such as the crashing, and money. Bronte are mainly vicious. Most walks through the Cinder Harbor National Park or browsing in Paddington's colorful weekend market. Uh, people in the town Sydney are always on the on the move, rushing to make contact. Uh, cutting current deal. deals, uh, current deals, and gaining influence uh, in Melbourne. Uh, excuse me. In Melbourne, eating out is a pastime, and the, in the pace of life is slower and easier. Wow. Melbourne may may not have the the great surfing of Sydney, the beautiful uh, Darling Harbour, or the Opera House. Instead, it's it's low and key and savvy you have to dig a layer uh, to get under its surface but Elias, once there Elias, that's fine thank you thank you right there savvy savvy mm -hmm. uh, find a perfect example of a chick who turned modern city Sydney looked uh, tends to look regionally it's okay coach all right, go ahead, go ahead, Elias, go ahead. Uh, uh, to Japan, for example, in the world, if you were to compare them to American cities, Sydney would be sunny LA, and Melbourne would be uh, um, charming New York. All right, first, let's take a look at all of the words that we have in there. Um, are there any new words or words you don't know? Yes, uh, there are a few, Coach. Uh, 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 it's Mudburn. That's, I mean, the that, that thing, that's the name, right? That is the name. That is the name of one of the cities in Australia. That's correct. Me Mel how do you say, how do you? The pronunciation you, is Melbourne. Melbourne, okay. Melbourne. Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then there is another uh, quaint, 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 that's quaint. That is correct, quaint. What is it? What is that word? Like a, the word? quaint means a small, nice, um, comfortable. This is quaint. Okay. Uh, what about savvy? Uh, couch, S-A-V-V-Y. So, uh, one more time. Uh, S A V V Y, Z key and savvy. Uh huh. Savvy. Savvy is like um, like sophisticated. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Where, where is that? Where is that word located? Savvy. It, savvy. Right. Look at the mouse. It's right here. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't see them. Oh, oh, that's at the second 
last in the, chapters? Okay. Yeah, in the last chapter near, in the, with Australia, uh -huh. Savvy. Uh, a question, Coach. In, yep. in, the, in the sentence, you have to dig a layer to get under its surface is something you have to investigate, to think, or you have to dig. That's right. The, the idea is you have to dig a little is uh, to get under its surface is you have to go. You have to investigate or do different things, not just the typical uh, things okay. that the tourists do. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. What is Sydney Ciders? Uh, Sydney Ciders. This is the name of people from Sydney. Okay. Uh, ciders, uh, can it be like... Uh, a little bit, a little bit more explanation. Let's see. Yeah. Letters. Can it be like the out people outside of town, like they, they no. live outside of No, no. Cider? The, the ciders is always in reference to the area where you live. So if you're a Sydney cider, the area that you live is in Sydney. If you are a south cider, the area that you live is on the south side. If you are a north okay. cider, the area where you live is in the north side. So the cider is... Okay. The cider only means the area where you live, and then you put the word before it, whatever area you live. Okay, okay, got it. And nevertheless, it's another city, right? Uh, uh, no, nevertheless, no. no. Or uh, where's nevertheless? The third paragraph. Thank you, one, two, three. Uh, nevertheless, right here, right? Nevertheless, they'll be quick to tell you that. That means that mm, it's similar to, not exactly however. the meaning, but how, however, or uh, however. Uh, on the other hand, I guess in this context yeah. would be on the other hand, they'll be quick to tell you. Okay. So nevertheless what is, what is, is the difference? What is the, the difference? Idea, sorry? Yes, nevertheless is used for contradictory ideas, okay? So as an example, um, I don't have money, nevertheless, I'm going to a restaurant. Normally, if you don't have money, you don't go to the restaurant. Nevertheless is used to share these uh, ideas that are, are opposite, okay? So, a, what is, what is so for example, Trump, Trump lost the presidency. Nevertheless, he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> so normally, that's the perfect example. <laughs> nor, normally, if, if you normally if you lose, you leave. But the idea is for contradictory ideas. Yeah, but he's an idiot. That's, mm -hmm. that's another. I want story. to. I want to ask. What is the difference between nevertheless and nonetheless? No, no. These are. You can use nonetheless as well. Oh, it's the same. Yes. Okay. They're synonyms, but n never, nonetheless is, um, yes. In most cases, it's going to be used similar to nevertheless. What does it mean when it says at the end of the same paragraph, uh, crushing self? Ah, this is a, like Punta Roca in El Salvador such as the uh, crashing surf at Punta Roca, El Sonte, or, you know, El Sumsal. That would be the okay. sentence there. So the crashing surf is because in these places, there are areas for surfing. But if you go to uh, maybe to San Diego or to uh, another beach, you don't have this wave for surfing. You only have like a beach. So crashing surf lets you know that you can, like Hawaii, you can imagine like Hawaii where they have the, the waves. These are the crashing surfs. Okay. Is that okay or, so, or, or no? Those are places to surf. Correct. That's, that's the place where you have those types of waves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, this other wall is bush, bush walls? Bush walls. In the next yeah, bush walks. bush walks. It's like in El Salvador walks. when you go to uh, El Pital or Monte Cristo, you go to a walk in the forest. 
but in Australia, they don't have forests. They have bushes. That's the name that they call because they have trees, but they're very, they're far apart. They're not together like here in El Salvador where there's a lot of forest. So the name is called bushwalks. Okay. So if you go to the mountains here, you go for a hike. But if you go for a walk there, you go for a bushwalk. Teacher, uh, it's like a synonym of doing sandaries or something like that. It, it's for the location. It's for the type of, of place. So the, uh, Australia doesn't have a forest. So they have that where you walk is called a bush. This, this means like uh, the, in the place in the rural communities. So if here in El Salvador, if you think of going to a rural community and a taco or, or, or you know, in a place where they're um, Fayuva or Pital, Monte Cristo, or, you know, all of these, uh, this would be for us, they, for them, it would be a bush be, because they don't have as many trees as we do. They don't have as much grass and green. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Can this be applied for mangroves or just like? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's actually referred to um, normally only used for Australia, New Zealand, and, um, and that's it. It's not used for other parts of the world. They don't really, other parts of the world don't have the same, the same type of uh, weather as okay. uh, they, they do. Are the other words okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. So as we can see, we're it's just like when we've been practicing. We're they're using words to describe. They're talking about activities that you can do. What is nice about it? What is the opinion? Uh, what people think. So I think most of us in the class are from different cities in El Salvador, okay? So for example, me, I'm from San Vicente. I don't know, where are you from? I'm from Etapan. Okay, uh, from Etapan. Uh, yeah, no, you are in the room. Sorry, Gladys? You... What did you say? San Salvador. Yeah, San Salvador. Gladys is from San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I'm from from Suyapango. Sandra's from Suyapango. Yes. I'm from San Salvador too. San Salvador. San Salvador, San Salvador. We're in Apple yes, Salvador. Salvador. Jose, what did you say? I am from Sorry, I'm from Metapan. Metapan also. Yes. Okay. And Jose, the other Jose? I'm from Apopa. Apopa, all right, all right. Okay. Marcela, what about you? Yeah, also San Salvador. Okay, also San Salvador. So this is exactly, oh. this is the idea. But it has to be San Salvador. Yeah, so everybody's talking about what is the best city? What's the best city in El Salvador? Ah, some, people will, say, some people will say, <laughs> there's, listen to Maria. Maria Humbly. says Santa Tecla. Uh -huh. Other Humbly people Metapan. say Metapan. <laughs> some people Eric, say Santa Eric. Ana. Coach, yeah, is Eric really from Metapan? I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't know where he's from. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do. I am from Metapan. Why? Am I an narco or something like that? No, yeah, that's what, I don't know. That's what you say? No, no, no. <laughs> you were from San Miguel. You were expecting a narco with a gun and something yes. like that. Metapan. <laughs> don't Why? argue. Cowboy. A cowboy. Mm -hmm. Oh man, no. Yeah. So this is the idea of what we're talking about. Is all about using our adjectives, all are using the modifiers, because that's all it is. It's just that's how you use it. If we look at this article and we look at it, that's all they're doing. The entire two parts of talking about the Melbourne or talking about Sydney, that's it. It's just talking about what the people like, what the people enjoy doing okay. in those areas. Okay. So I hope next time I'm gonna bring my gu my guns, teacher. <laughs> there you go. To show them who. How, how, do, them how, how, we, how do we do it in Metaban? There you go. There you go. Okay. So at this moment, are there any questions about the reading, about the modifiers, about any of the activities? Not yet. For me. Okay. No? 
All right, that's great. So then we just got a few minutes and what, what I'd like you to do is, whoever feels comfortable that they know their city, whoever feels that they can describe their, their whatever city, Metapan, San Salvador, eh, Apopa, Soyapango, whatever it is, whoever wants to practice, right now is the moment. Give us a description. Imagine we don't know your city. Tell us about your city. What's it like? What can you do there? What do people enjoy? What, you know, just like the articles we read. Give us a little information about your city. Who would like to go first? Since I'm from Metapan and I'm proud of my, my little town, I get the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should I start, teacher? Yeah, go for it, Eric. Okay, Metapan is a small, beautiful city located on the north of El Salvador, close to Guija Lake and to Monte Cristo Mountain. Uh, we are next to Guatemala and Honduras. We have borders with them. Uh, people here is really nosy <laughs> let's say that <laughs> because i think that oh if you live in a small town eh, that's that's an issue people <laughs> is nosy <laughs> but besides of that people is nice as well we have a beautiful park uh we have we don't have that much not, nightlife but depending if, if there is a soccer game on the weekend there is like a festival on the on the Central Park. Uh, we have it is a safe city. That's something good because there's not much crime here in Metapan. Um, what else can I say about my my city? The weather, uh, the weather is really hot. It is really hot. It's close to to the weather. It is like the weather in San Miguel probably. Or what else? It's it's beautiful. I have been living here my whole life, and and I, I enjoy to live in Metapan because you can go out and you can talk to a lot of people because you you almost know everybody. So that's a, a good thing of living in a, in a small town. How do you call the the famous butter from Metapan? In Spanish, we say mantequilla de bolsa, but how do you call it in English? We call it mantequilla escurrida. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. <laughs> Greasy, <laughs> but delicious. <laughs> yeah, when, when you said metapan, the first thing that comes to my mind is that butter. I've never, oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I, 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 I I've never heard of that. that. I, I never heard of that. I thought you were say narcos and guns and cows and. No, you know? yeah, but, <laughs> we are more like that. Las delicious, Mr. Cuyas. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. very delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Well, but we are more than narcos, okay? Thank you, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> All okay. Right. Very good. That's the idea. That's how we're going to use it. That's how we're going to practice it. Uh, we're going to stop for today, and tomorrow we're going to continue. We're going to pick up and try to use it. So remember, we finished Unit 3 today. Tomorrow we'll begin Unit 4. So the same thing in the platform, don't wait too many days. Don't wait to catch up. You know, even if it's one or two lessons and that's all you have time for, do one or two. But keep advancing, keep advancing every day. Okay? Okay, okay teacher. Thanks. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good night.